Kelvin, I have always told you that the slogan that says give and it shall be given unto you is not correct, because the more you give the less you have. How do you mean? You have always paid your tithe, you give offering like no man business, but yet you don't have money with you. What are you talking about Philip? Look at us, very early in the morning we are drinking gari with five nary ground nut. See you wore suit with an empty pocket. The Bible says cast your bread upon the waters, you will find it after many days. Look at who is talking. By nature, things that are visible are temporal, but things that are invisible are eternal. This inheritance is invisible to the natural eye, though it is made manifest sometimes physically, yet it has its roots in the invisible. Philip, this is the conflict that Christians often face. Really? Yes, however, because it is invisible, Abraham did not understand it in Genesis 15 when God presented this offer to him. He was still asking for the visibles, the countables. If not for the mercy of God, he almost lost it. Esau also could not see the reality of this invisible inheritance in his hungry situation. So he despised it and exchanged it for a spoon of pottage. By the time he realized the glory of what he had missed, he sought it with tears but it was too late. My brother and sister, you have an inheritance. Though it is invisible, it is real. It is enveloped and enclosed in God's promises. Now I understand, so God gifts for us is not most time visible, but things that are invisible are eternal. So Philip, when you were born by your parents, you were born naturally, born in the flesh. And Git has concluded that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Sin is the thing that separates us from God. But that was why Jesus came, laid down his life, shed his blood and died for us on the cross. So go away from your sinful ways, and you shall see God's goodness and mercy. God bless you as you want this and put it to act.